Hello, my name is Cornelius Kölbel, and today I want to show you a new feature of the Privacy Idea Own Cloud app. The Privacy Idea Own Cloud app adds two factor authentication to Own Cloud by connecting Own Cloud to Privacy Idea. All second factors of the users are stored and managed centrally within Privacy Idea. So, the new feature is the support for U2F devices, which means users can register their U2F device centrally in Privacy Idea and then use this U2F device at all connected services. The great thing about this is that the user only needs to register the U2F device once and that the company can stay in control over, over the authentication, over the two-factor authentication at those different services. So here I have my own cloud installation and I have a privacy idea installation. On the right side, I have my U2F device. Okay, um, first, I will show you the configuration in own cloud. I already installed the privacy idea own cloud app. So two factor authentication in own cloud works this way. First, the user has to authenticate with his own cloud app. Then uh, the privacy idea own cloud app kicks in and asks the user for the second factor. The user Cornelius also has a YubiKey but it has a YubiKey in HOTP mode. So Cornelius needs to press the button of the YubiKey and is authenticated. Now, the um, let's take a look at the configuration of the Privacy Idea Own Cloud app. It is here. And you see the URL of the Privacy Idea server is specified and the new thing is that we need a service account that contacts privacy idea and is allowed to trigger challenges for the user because also the U2F device is a challenge response token. Okay, let's log out again. Let's prepare the YubiKey for the user. I will use a user root. who at the moment does not have a U2F or any token. You see the user root does not have any token assigned. So um, again, let's first recap what we need to do to configure U2F in Privacy Idea. There's also another video which explains it in depth, but let's take a quick look. I have to define the app ID, which is used to generate the challenges and the key pairs. And it also contains a path where the allowed facets are stored. The allowed facets, in fact, are the application which are allowed to use this UTF device. Um, for this, we need to define a policy um, of scope authentication. And there we need to add the full qualified domain names of all applications. I added the full qualified domain name of my own cloud installation. Now, this is all we need to configure. The administrator needs to configure this once. And now the administrator or the user can register a U2F device. In this scenario, um, I am the administrator and I'm registering a U2F device for a normal user. I select the token type, it's U2F. I plugged in the U2F device. I hit enroll token. The token is blinking and asking me if I want to register this device. I want to, and the token is enrolled. And now you can see the user root has this one U2F device. And now, I can hand the token to the user root. The user root logs in to own cloud with his own cloud password. The privacy idea app realizes 
that the user needs a second factor. And this time you see, I do not get an OTP input field, but I'm asked to confirm the authentication with my UTF device. The LED is blinking. I touch the button and the user root is authenticated. I hope you like this new feature and I hope you like the video. Um, give a thumbs up, subscribe for any new features, for any new videos, and um, think of using two-factor authentications either with OTP tokens, with UTF tokens, with SMS, with anything else. Privacy ID is a great way to enhance two-factor authentication centrally and also for your own cloud installation. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.